Hi, my name is Adam. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we're going to talk about five things that happy and successful retirees do really well. And I talk to probably 15 to 20 retirees on a daily basis in my job. And so we get a really good feedback on what's going well, what's not. I was talking to a client today about their upcoming trip. They're going to uh, Zion National Park and the surrounding area, doing some hiking and that kind of stuff. And just talking about that go-go phase of retirement and how it is for them, what they're enjoying, what not, income, all that kind of stuff. So we talk to people on a daily basis. So I wanted to share the five things that we see our clients do well and people that I talk to well, so that it can hopefully help you kind of reshift or regear to make sure that you do these things well, because I promise you they will help in retirement. Now, they may not be the same five for you as other people, but the guidelines are going to be pretty close. So the first thing that every retiree says is they get social, whether that's joining a golf club, a tennis club when hiking or just having people over for barbecues and whatnot. It's staying social. And I think a big part of that is when you're working, you go to a job, hopefully, uh, you know, obviously COVID changed that over time, but you go to a job, you see people, you talk to people, you have communication and face-to-face -face on a daily basis. When you enter retirement, that's gone. And for a lot of you, that social interaction is a huge part of A, your identity, but also like, so it fills you and what makes you feel like happy and, and content. So when you hit retirement, you know, if you're married, common law partner, you might have someone in the house but that's only one person and the same person day after day i encourage you to get out get social whatever that looks like for you everyone's going to look a little bit different whether you're into hiking or maybe a knitting club or curling or whatever it is find that social network and that social connection so that you kind of get refilled up with that tank of fuel that you need that you were getting at your job previously the second thing that retirees do well where they find happiness and success is being well organized and managing their time well. And I've talked a lot about it on this channel where you hit retirement and you get involved with things that keep you so busy and you have no idea how you had a full-time job in the first place. And I think part of this is you need to be organized, both organized in your house, daily life, routine, calendar, all of that, and then manage your time well. What's important to you? Where do you want to spend your time in retirement? And I think this is something that you need to kind of map out before you get to retirement. Where do you want to spend your time? So when you enter retirement, you really want to still continue with a calendar, whether it's a, you know, a paper calendar. I always bug my wife. She still kind of has a paper calendar in the cupboard that she writes on. She hasn't transitioned to the phone yet. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but uh, have a calendar. Even when you enter retirement, I know it's nice to have nothing on the calendar, but transition to a bit of a routine. Manage your time well, or else you're going to end up wasting a lot of time. And again, especially when you hit retirement, there's only so many days in your go-go phase. You need to enjoy those. You need to go out and spend that doing what you want to do and managing and organizing your time well will really help out in enjoying those retirement years. The third thing that happy retirees do that we talk to on a daily basis is they exercise, they move, they keep active. Exercise may not be your thing, I get it. I talked to a lot of you that say like, I hate exercising. Look, this could be just going for a walk around the neighborhood, joining a walking group. It doesn't mean going to the gym or joining CrossFit or anything intense, but it just means moving your body. We all know that there's a lot of health benefits to staying active, being in shape, all of that. And as you age, it becomes more apparent. You know, I already feel it at my age, uh, but definitely when you hit retirement and, you know, I, again, I talk to my parents, my in-laws, that's a big thing for them. Like everyone in my family is fairly active. My in-laws are fairly active. My dad, mom, they're, they're active people and it makes a difference. And I encourage you as you enter to retirement, you're going to have a bit more time, hopefully, but carve out time again, organize that time. And part of that organization and part of your calendar should be movement. Whatever kind of movement that is, find a way to get exercise, movement, and, and health, good health into your routine. Because a lot of you, as you get up to retirement, those last few working years, they're stressful. You're not taking care of yourself properly. Spend that first year or two of retirement as kind of a rejigging phase where you can get your health back and start moving again and get your your kind of health routine back on track. The fourth thing that retirees do really well is they use professionals. So whether it's someone like myself where it's a financial plan or an accountant, or maybe it's a landscaper because I hate cutting the lawn. Uh, another popular one in BC, I'm not sure if it's elsewhere, I, I've never done the research, but is Christmas light installation. And actually two of my buddies that I grew up with, uh, they're twins, they started what I would believe is the first Christmas light installation company in Canada, uh, at least in Western Canada. They started this thing like 20 years ago and it's massive. Massive. It's a great business model, but they say most of their clients are, you know, 55 plus. They're in retirement or close to retirement. They just don't want to get up on the ladder anymore, but they want the Christmas lights done. It's a huge market. 
So again, a lot of you are using these types of professionals to do the things that you enjoy and offload the ones you don't. Now, again, you have to have the financial means to be able to do that. I understand that. But whatever the professional is in your life that you need to kind of fill and, and, and walk in, start using professionals. There's people that can do stuff a lot better and more efficient than you. And there's other things like Christmas lights, which are dangerous. In fact, we had a client fall off the ladder a few years ago Fortunately, not a major injury, but it happens. And there's stories every single year of stuff like that. So pick your spots, but start using professionals a bit more to take that stress off of you. The fifth and final thing that happy retirees, and when I say happy, I'm not trying to you know say you're not gonna be happy if you don't do these, don't get me wrong. But I just wanna give you, like I use this channel to give advice and help you guys out and, and try and get you guys on the right path. And a lot of this is based off of people that we talk to. So again, the fifth thing is managing your money well. And this comes in many facets. This is look through your budget. A, have a budget. That's, you know, start there. But the second thing is to look through it. Are there expenses on there? As you enter into retirement, your stage and, and, and walk of life might be a little bit different. You might have things on there that you don't need anymore. Can those come off? You know, can you cancel memberships and stuff like that that you don't need anymore? You know, if you're going to buy a large ticket item or you're looking to travel, get multiple quotes. The same product can be a different price at different avenues. So make sure you do your research there. I think one of the biggest things that wealthy people do that I talk to. So when I talk to wealthy people and like, what do you do differently? One thing I always hear is they negotiate. You can always negotiate. Now, the other end may not be successful. People always you know, email me and say, you're trying to negotiate you know, our services down, and we don't, that's not something that we do. But a lot of things you can negotiate in life, but people just don't ask. If you don't ask, you don't know. It never hurts to ask if someone says no, but they might say yes, and it might save you a few dollars. So again, as you enter into retirement, make sure you manage your money well. Again, have a financial plan, know where your money is going, how it's managed, budget well, make sure you cut unnecessary expenses, make sure you know kind of how much tax you're gonna pay and have you created a strategy around that. There's a lot of facets to managing money well. It's not just investing well and having a financial plan. It's your daily in and out. You know, do you have too many credit cards? Like do you have three credit cards where you're paying credit card fees? Can you wind that down to one? There's a lot of things. So just take a review. As you enter into retirement, look at your budget, review it. Are there any line items that you can take off of there and eliminate altogether? Those little expenses, $20 a month, $240 a year, times 30 years of retirement. It adds up. It really does add up. So start looking at that stuff and start managing your money well. So thanks for joining us in this video. Hopefully it helped. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Over 50% of you are still not subscribed to the channel and you're watching these. Now I know a lot of you watch our content on a TV and that means you have to pick up the remote right now and kind of click around and hit subscribe, but do it. Join the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification every time we release a new video, which is two to three times a week. So if you have any other tips for people entering retirement where you've had success or it's really kind of made you a bit happier, a bit easier, a bit light, lighter footed, leave a comment below and help others out on this channel. That's what we're all about. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next one.